Welcome to the Fairy Cottage, where we are going to begin and enhance a very special relationship with the fairy realms. You are invited to follow me on a meditation where I want you to allow yourself to be guided and inspired by the enchantment and imagery captured in the beautiful music. Together, we are about to tread the sparkling pathway to fairyland. Now I want you to relax your body and concentrate on each breath. With each breath that you draw in, feel that you are falling inward, deeper and deeper. Your mind is quiet and your spirit calm. Allow yourself to fall into the music. Feel as though you are dropping limp-limbed into every sound. By listening to my voice, I will guide you to the fairy realms and bring you back safely. Remember to stay on the pathway that I describe to guide your imagination. Already the veil which separates your everyday world from the astral plane is blurring. Before you, there is a white mist. And you feel yourself float towards it. A joyful feeling envelops you. After a few moments, the sparkling mist thins. And you spy a beautiful thatched cottage. It is like an enchanted secret that you have stumbled upon in a clearing. Hidden from prying eyes and like a haven from the real world. Walk up the garden path and reach in your pocket. There you will find the one and only key. This is your fairy cottage, prepared and tended by the fairies, for you to use as your safe haven, healing sanctuary, spell cottage, or whatever other harmonious intentions you may wish to use it for. Use the key to open the door. Before you is an enchanting room with a large glowing fireplace decorated with flowers. A range cooker is baking bread 
from which a delicious smell wafts to you. In the centre of the cottage is a small nature table, decorated with glittering crystals, scented candles, natural incense and a chalice of one of the fairies' favourite drink, honey mead. Feel at home in your fairy cottage. Explore the room for a few moments. Look out of the windows. Warm your hands at the fire. And try to remember everything that is in the room. I will leave you for a few moments to settle into your fairy residence before we are ready to venture onward into fairyland. Open the door into the garden and your attention is turned to a green glistening pathway leading away from your cottage. Taking the pathway you find yourself in an abundant spring garden more lush than you have ever seen before. There is a feeling of peacefulness in the garden. As if you are in a divine place. For indeed you are. Imagine your surroundings. Smell the newly dug earth in the beautifully tended flower beds and know that you are welcome to sit a while here and soak up the atmosphere. As you sit on the grass and look around you, you see unusual butterflies and dragonflies flit past you. Suddenly, the realization dawns upon you and you realize that they are winged fairies. It is a magical sight to behold. As far as your eyes can see, 
are flowers of every size and colour. All being attended by small winged fairies. These are the sylphs of air. Some have intricate moth wings. Others dazzling butterfly wings. And the iridescent wings of the fairies who resemble dragonflies are the most glittering and entrancing. You feel you will never look at a butterfly in the same way again. Or perhaps you just weren't looking properly before. Perhaps they were always sylphs in fairy glamour. Now gently lie back on the newly mown grass. Relax even deeper with each breath and simply observe the sylph fairies as they dance among the garden. They are the consciousness of the element of air and you may see them gliding on the breeze, flitting from flower to bud, and they are the spark of your imagination. In the same garden is a small bonfire. You smell a faint waft of smoke on the breeze. Sitting up, you notice the bonfire on the far side of the garden. Feeling impelled to go and watch the fire, you wander along the garden path to visit the bonfire. Here you immediately notice within the flames long tapered fairies travelling through the air as sparks and streaks of light in hues of red, orange 
and gold. They are the spirits of fire and are known as the salamanders, the fire phase, whose energies are quick and unpredictable. You notice that they are enjoying every minute of their leaping and prancing. And their energy feels infectious as they make you feel alive and full of your own life force. Feel the heat of the fire on your face and connect with the element of fire and what it means to you. Use these moments to work with the inspirational nature of the fire fairies. They may help you with the spark of ideas for your own creativity. Turning your attention now, you spy a wishing well. Making your way over to the old well. 
you peer over the edge into the deep, clear water. For a moment, the water appears to be still and tranquil. And in contrast to the warm spring day, the well feels cool and welcoming. You take a penny from your pocket and toss it into the well. Now in fairyland, you are granted one wish. So be careful what you wish for, it may come true. As the ripples of your penny glide out, just beneath the surface, you see an exquisitely beautiful young woman. Her long weed-like hair fans out on the surface of the water. She is an undine, a fairy priestess of the element of water. She is the spirit of every hanging dewdrop, every trickle of rain, and her element governs the emotions and feelings that run deep within you. You may tell her your troubles if you care to, and she will keep them secret and silent in her wishing well. Following the sparkling green pathway once again, it leads you to a small secluded sandy beach. As you look out at the shimmering sea, you see what must be a mermaid sitting on a rock close to the shore. She brushes her beautiful long hair and you hear her sweet singing. A strain so entrancing that you are transfixed for a moment. The mermaids are the fairies of the sea kingdoms and are the magic in the waves and the whispering in a seashell. She keeps beneath the tides the hidden magic where humans no longer believe in them. She is certainly an exquisite creature.
but you remember that you must not be lured by her enchanting verse. As before, she will keep your wishes a secret if you care to impress them upon her. She smiles and makes a gesture to you with her hand towards a cave for you to continue your journey further into fairyland. the edge of the beach, a small cave opening catches your attention. You wander in and stand in awe. It is constructed entirely of glinting precious crystals. You walk into the cave and follow its wending way. Your passage being lit by lanterns.
are earthy and dark and you can smell the sand, the sea, the earth and the dampness all in one sensory experience. The caves make your imagination come alive. For you know not where you are heading. And now begins your journey of trust in the fairies. Every now and then, you begin to see small pairs of eyes peering cautiously at you. They are the gnomes, the guardians of the caves. The wisdom of the earth and the foundation of all fertile life. They are the living consciousness of the soil that we walk upon. As you make your way through the caves, your dreams and wish fulfilments come to the fore of your mind. Explore these in your mind for a few moments in the atmosphere of the caves. Plant the seeds of your imagination in the sparkling crystal caves, for they are both light and dark, dreams and hopefulness.
as if waking from a pleasant dream. Soon you see daylight and you walk out into a densely grown wood. The trees tower above you and you are left in no doubt that these are ancient woodlands that have seen the passing of history. The tree spirits observing silently from their boughs. As you walk through the woods and sense the earthy smell all around you, you begin to notice gnomes watching you quietly from the intricate root systems. small old men and women gnomes, solid in appearance, sensible and deeply wise. They are truly as old as the earth. This is the place in Fairyland where it is quite appropriate to be still and take in the consciousness of the woodland all around you. also sense that the gnomes may be observing you in a quietly curious way.
Beginning to see the edge of the woods. It is marked by an enormous oak tree. You notice that its roots are as broad as its boughs. Tucked in the crevice of a gnarly root is a crystal glinting in the sunlight. You are allowed to take it back with you to the fairy cottage and you may put it in your pocket. Spying the green glistening pathway once more, it will take you back to your fairy cottage. Go into the garden, take out your key and open the door. Once inside, the cottage seems to welcome you. Take the crystal from your pocket and place it gently on your fairy nature table. Next time you visit your cottage, you will see that crystal as a reminder. Now the more crystals you see on your table, the stronger your relationship to the fairy realm will be. Take the bread from the oven and leave it 
on the nature table. This is your gift to the fairies. A gift for your magical journey here. Now it is time to leave Fairyland. Walk out of the cottage. And lock the door behind you. Before you is the white mist. Feel yourself float towards it. Slowly, the mist thins as before. You find yourself once again in your everyday world. <laughs>